My name is Alexander Hammerstone, and I'm the MLW World Heavyweight Champion. So before wrestling, I was actually in the culinary industry. It was never something that I necessarily aimed to get into. And then as time went on, you know, I got into college um, with an academic degree, but I quickly had that like voice in the back of my head, you know, telling me you gotta chase this dream. And you know, I went through a couple really crazy life situations that kind of really fed that voice. You know, that was like, if you wanna do something, you gotta go for it now before it's too late. So I dropped out of college and then I started pursuing wrestling. I grew up really poor. So we never had cable television. We never got to watch Monday Night Raw or anything like that. But every once in a while, if I would stay up late enough with my older brother, we would catch, you know, whatever the show was on, Shotgun Saturday Night or Sunday Night Heat. And I just remember the first time seeing that thing, you know, it was the coolest thing in the world. Me and my brother watched it. We, we wrestled each other, you know. If my mom was working, we were playing Royal Rumble on the bed. And, uh, I never got to be who I wanted to be. You know, my brother would be in the ring. He's stone cold. I was like, okay, I got to eliminate. I'm coming out. I'm going to be Undertaker. No, 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 I'm going to be Undertaker next. I'm like, you're already stone cold. You know, he's like, okay, you could be X-Pac again. I was like, I was already X-Pac, you know. Most people grow out of it. I never did. Like, actually, when I got into wrestling, I was trying to convince my brother to do it. You know, because I was like, this is so cool. I'm at this wrestling school. We're doing this. And I'm just showing him the first ever hip toss I did or the first ever arm drag I took and thinking it's the coolest thing in the world. And he's like, oh, come on, you're you're wasting your time. And he's saying, oh, you're too small to be a wrestler, which is ironic now that I'm one of the big guys. But um, for a couple of years, it did look like I was wasting my time. You know, I, I, I had dropped out of school for this. And I told my mom, hey, I'm dropping out of school. I told my brother, hey, I'm being a pro wrestler. And there was a rough couple of years where it looked like I was wasting my time. You know, I'm driving 10 hours in a car to go get paid $20. You know, and by the time I put it in the gas tank, I actually lost money. You know, I'm taking off work. You know, there's three days at a time where I'm living in a car or whatever the situation may be. But once those results started showing, everybody was really supportive. You know, my mom, my brother, all that. And like now to this day, my brother's my biggest fan. You know, <laughs> he didn't tell me this himself, but his girlfriend got drunk one night at a wedding and called me and she said, you know, he cried watching Fightland when you won the title. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm not exaggerating to say that there was times that me and my brother were sharing a can of corn for dinner, or we're washing our clothes in the bathtub, or I slept in a pillowcase instead of a blanket. That's what I went through, you know? Like, I wanted to do sports when I was a kid, but I couldn't because our parents couldn't pay for sports. I remember wanting to join the band class and it for the entire year to write their instrument, it was $45 and they, they couldn't afford it. So I kind of had like, these things I always wanted to do. So I always felt like I wanted to accomplish something special. Like I always felt like I had like this creative something inside of me and needed to go somewhere, you know? And early on I found music and then I really started exploring that. And when it transitioned into pro wrestling or bodybuilding and these things, like it really just flourished. And I got to find all these things. But looking back on how I was like brought up, like it, these little things that I've gotten along the way all these like moments that a lot of people might just be like, oh yeah, well, that's cool. It's like, they meant the world to me because it's like, I see, like, like I said, I'm not trying to harp on it, but a lot of the stuff I've, I come from, you know, it makes every moment mean that much more.